Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. So today is going to be a fun one. We're going to take my 2019 Mustang GT and take it back to the dyno. We're going to put it back on the rollers, except this time it's going to be a dyno jet. And hopefully this will clear up some of the misinformation from the last video. Keep in mind in the last video, I never, ever said that any of that was exact doctrine. Uh, we were on a Mustang dyno and the weight was entered a little bit wrong. Don't hate me for it. I was just there filming, okay? So dynos are not my speciality, all right? You know, I was just there filming. I was there uh, for the dyno day. Uh, we do have plans to go back to that, that Mustang dyno and redo the numbers over there and see what they actually are with the correct weight of the vehicle uh, entered in. You know, I was his first 2019 10R rated car on his roller. So pretty much, he, you know, he put in the vehicle information to the computer, the computer figured it out, and we got some weird high numbers. Now, I never in that video said that I believed the numbers at all. I thought that they were a little bit high. I was just, I've never seen anything, you know, above a 435, you know, on the high side for a stock 2000, you know, 18 and 19 Mustang. So anyway, we are on our way. We got the invite to Fifth Gear Automotive in Nashville. We're gonna put this car on their rollers, which is a dyno jet, okay? So very, it's gonna be very, very accurate. And then again, we're gonna go back and we're gonna pair that to the Mustang dyno uh, here in the near future. So today is gonna be a very fun video. If you haven't seen the last upload and you have no idea what I'm talking about, I'll link it above. These are all gonna be SAE correct numbers today. I've used these guys in the past and they've been very, very spot on accurate. Again, it's a dyno jet, so it is what it is. So, this should be fun. All right, guys and girls, we are here at Fifth Gear in Nashville. We have Taylor here. He's getting the car set up. And we're gonna see what this thing actually makes on a dyno jet. So it should be a little bit different. I expect probably going to make in the, uh, what do you think, 410, 415, somewhere there? Four to 415. Yeah. So it's gonna have the computer actually hooked up to the car into the OBD2 port, and we're gonna get some accurate readings this way. So this is some of the stuff that they do work on. Lots of Mustangs, Chevys, imports, everything here. Again, we are at Fifth Gear in Nashville. So come check these guys out. Now, Taylor actually also does tuning. So maybe I'll be talking to him about something like that. I don't know. You know, Rob Shoemaker or, uh, you know, it's always it's always good to have somebody local that, that, you know, can obviously tune for these. And he is experienced when it comes to this kind of stuff. So... Oh, the weather is just nasty. It's raining, but we're going to get some good numbers for you guys today and hopefully this will clear up some of the air and a lot of the questions, you know, pertaining to the last video. So definitely go check it out. It is a little bit of a lengthy video. So I kind of left the, the video a little bit long on the other one just because of, you know, some of the things that were going on with the car, why the numbers are a little bit high why it would die at you know 6500 rpm and taylor's explaining that there is some transmission i guess parameters of some computer stuff that is acting as a rev limiter again on the street you know it will shift to 7500 but on the rollers it's it's down about a thousand from that so no big deal Right, guys so this is again a completely stock car other than an x pipe now if this is your first dyno video or if you didn't know you do want to come in here and this is your abs uh plug you want to unplug this in the engine bay next to your air box there so that way it just completely turns it off in a car you don't have to worry about it but again this is a stock 2019 mustang gt let's start with seven again yep Oh, 
to see what that limit was. That's right. the vehicle speed limit. Too. Vehicle speed limit? Yeah, you can see right there. Okay. That's what's shutting you off. Yeah. Very calibrated for six. They're off at about 65? Yeah, literally. Uh, 60... Like 64.98. Yep. <laughs> yep. What's that? You're hitting actual engine speed limiter right there. Engine speed limiter? Yeah. Alright, here's our first. It's about 6,700 RPM. And we're going to let the car cool down a little bit and do another another pull. Transmission RPM limits at 7,000 for the gears we were dynoing in. Okay. So, we really don't want to dyno in. We really don't want to dyno in first through fifth just because it'd be way too short of a gear. So seventh is the one to one, six is kind of okay? Right, yeah, okay. just to avoid the, uh, the vehicle speed limit. Okay. Kind of hovering around that same area. Same area? Yes, same, uh, same RPM limit, just because Hitting the trans limit still. Yep. going to do one final one so 400 is what we've got so far is the best and we're going to do a fourth pull he's going to change the load for this fourth one so let's see if it makes a difference it's all the head nod any better yeah, made 408. Oh, look at that. It's right where we sit. Yep. <laughs> yep, 400 and, instead of 410, 408 is pretty good. Yeah, yeah. It's about what we figured. Yeah, so, if we could, I mean, literally just turning the rev limiter off where it could rev out without any other tune adjustments, it would probably pick up another five horse, just getting into the RPM range where it wants to be. Right. So. That's great though, honestly. So there we have it. Those are the numbers on a dyno jet. So definitely come check out the shop here. They'd love to have your business and very, very professional setup. So see everything in the background there. So everything from Mustangs to imports to whatever. And then he also does tuning. It's actually Dyno Dynamics. Okay. Uh, but we're using the logos down there. But using the dyno jet comparison mode just to compare to what most of the local shops have. Got it, okay, okay. So, 408 is the number. And uh, no, I don't have a bullet in engine into my car. That would be really cool, you know, but uh, you know, it's just a normal GT engine, just like all the rest of you guys have. I knew it would be, you know, that's one of the reasons why I never in the last video said that these, you know this this high horsepower is what it's actually making because you know I, I didn't believe it are there factor freaks out there yeah but you know are there some 10 already cars that may make you know 440 on you know on a dyno maybe um, I haven't seen any but that would have been cool if you know if it did but I'm completely satisfied with the horsepower that we put down today it makes me feel a lot better and I know you guys appreciate it too now it also is important to note that we still weren't hitting 7,500 RPM. So, you know, the 408, like he was kind of, uh, if you could hear him, was 
he's basically saying that that number could increase a little bit, you know, so we could see another, you know, five, six horsepower added. So I'd say, you know, 415 should probably be the number, but given where we were at, stuck with it at the RPM level, 408, completely sold with it, uh, completely happy. We're just hitting, you know, the, the factory uh, limiters in the transmission and the engine, all of that. So that's kind of how that works. So without turning all of that stuff off, 408 and that RPM is the answer. So now what we need to do is throw power at this car. We have our good baseline dyno. And again, we're gonna to go to the other shop and compare those numbers as well and get everything right on par with each other. Enter everything in the computer correctly, but uh, it is definitely time to start modding this car for power. But we have also got to build a foundation. I think that that is important too. And if you're still with me, you're still here watching, I'm giving you a little snippet uh, peek into the future of what's about to happen is some suspension mods. So I don't want to give it away yet, but definitely stay tuned to the channel, stay glued, turn the notification bell on, subscribe, give me a thumbs up, thumbs down, doesn't matter however you, you know, whether you like the video or not, you know, I definitely appreciate you guys watching. I really honestly do. And until next time, I'll see you later.